Since our inception in the mid-1800s, our central mandate has been to train the next generation of healthcare professionals and scientists. We've acquired a sustained reputation of excellence in graduating, graduating a highly skilled clinical workforce and biomedical workforce. We are of our region and we are for our region with academies in Latakeni, Sligo, Casabar and Balanslo, who we welcome online today. Being of our region sets us apart as a college within our country. We celebrate the multidisciplinarity of our college and we draw strength from our diversity. Our future success, however, is critically dependent on our ability to evolve, to develop innovative training programs that meet the dynamic and rapidly transforming needs of healthcare and the demands to preserve the health of our population. Our most immediate and obvious need is quantitative, and that is to address staffing shortages in virtually all healthcare disciplines across each sector of healthcare. These deficits are being felt most acutely in rural areas such as ours, which gives us further impetus and mandate to address it. In response, in the implementation phase of this strategy, we plan to develop graduate entry courses across most of our healthcare professional programs. In addition, in addition we've initiated a series of discussions and exploring phase to look at emerging areas in need. Examples of pharmacy, radiography, but there are others. We recognize a transition from a national training program to increase regionalization so that we address the regional needs in addition to making contributions nationally and internationally. Over the lifespan of this strategy, we will therefore establish a series of relevant contemporary graduate and undergraduate programs. These will create expanded opportunities for future students within our community and internationally. It will also contribute to healthcare service needs, to get to primary mandate of others, and expand our own workforce in all categories of our staff. Our educational programs need to be future-proofed, contemporary. We need to be cognizant of other changes in healthcare. The delivery of healthcare in different settings, the movement out of the hospital, integrated care into the community. These will have demands on training. And new platforms of training, such as simulation, offer us new opportunities. And this is an area where we're nationally leaders. These new platforms also offer us a renewed opportunity to invest in the principles of interprofessional learning and education. We hold them dear, but their execution in the real world can be quite challenging. New settings allow us a new opportunity to reinvigorate the strategy. Our educational strategy also needs to embrace other fundamental shifts in health and healthcare particularly the transformative role of medical technologies, digital health, artificial intelligence, with the explosion of healthcare data. In these areas, we plan to leverage our education agenda and merge them with existing research strengths, providing an area of distinctiveness of identity. The students that leave our college, beyond the institution they have left, have an ancillary identity that sets them apart. We are mandated to train our students for success, not just meeting current needs, but future needs of the healthcare system. We need responsive, dynamic curricula, innovative approach to teaching, and empowering them with the skills for lifelong learning. Our challenge would be to harness the advantages of these emerging technologies, while also preserving our key strengths in training high quality clinicians compassionate clinicians and global citizens. We recognize that students are the lifeblood of our college, our ambassadors, our future colleagues, and particularly, most would be future providers of healthcare to our communities, to our families, and to the wider world. 
we recognize that the student's voice needs to be at the center of development and implementation of these programs. And a special thanks to Dara for agreeing to share this perspective today. In each of these endeavors, we look to our key partnerships. So Salem University Healthcare Group, Primary Care, Community, Continuing Care, General Practice, and Public Healthcare Programs, whom we welcome warmly today. Collectively, this is our grand challenge. Accordingly, we have intentionally positioned our launch adjacent to the future care program to ensure that the launch extends beyond words, translates into meaningful action, and, and that we develop true and meaningful partnerships, which are already strong and vibrant, but perhaps consolidate them more. We look to external advisors. We don't have all the answers, and we don't want to reinvent the wheel. To often, optimally implement our ambitions and plans, we thank Michael Dalby for his generosity in sharing his incredibly valuable time today. Even three hours yesterday, I think I learned more about healthcare delivery than I have in the last three years. We're committed to ensuring a central role of patient and public involvement in developing our programs. Their perspective must inform our direction of travel and our direction of change. Their priorities need to be our priorities. Now, not just because it's the right thing, but because it is intrinsic to us being successful. We acknowledge and thank the University of Galway for awarding Derek Stewart, who is sharing his time today as an honorary professorship for his leadership in patient advocacy. Our strategy also speaks to our ambition in research and innovation. The past two decades have witnessed transformational and change in our college. And for those of us who have been part of it, it has been a really exciting and fast journey. Sometimes you take a pause and look around, and then you think of what it looked like 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Um, and when you see it, particularly through the eyes of alumni who perhaps trained here 20 years ago, you suddenly see how much transformation there's been. This has been attributable to the work of many, many people, but I would like to pay special tribute today to Professor Tim O'Brien for his visionary leadership in our achievements to date. Our current strategy seeks to amplify our areas of strength in research and innovation, while also fostering new and exciting fields of endeavor. Recognizing that central importance of collaboration and partnership, we've recently received approval for two research institutes which are in partnership with the College of Science and Engineering, for which we have a lot of overlap. These two institutes, namely the Institute for Medical Technologies and Advanced Therapeutic Discovery, and the related and adjoined Institute for Medical Technologies, or for Institute for Innovative Translational Clinical Trials. Our plans for these integrated research institutes speak to our strategic intent in optimizing organizational structure for sustained success and a transition from organic growth to organized effectiveness and impact. Together, these institutes will span research from discovery, basic science of new therapies, through to translational, through to clinical evaluation, and robust evaluation of novel interventions. Discovery and evaluation bridge the two vital steps in advancing how we provide better care for patients and how we prevent our population from becoming patients. These institutes reflect the breadth of research fields from scientific discovery right through to implementation and policy. We recognize that novel research most often comes from the interface of disciplines. And in the same way that multidisciplinary care provides optimal care for complex needs of patients, transdisciplinary research is needed to identify truly impactful interventions. In developing our straight research strategy, we also look to the economic and societal success of our region and foster close collaborations with aligned industry, particularly in medical technology sector, for which we have an important opening conversation again tomorrow, to which you're all invited. It is critical that these relationships are to our mutual advantage and growth. Our research strategy will necessarily involve 
other emerging areas of global priority adherent with the UN Sustainable Goals in the areas of population health and particularly One Health, which recognises that the health of our population and the health of our environment are inextricably linked. Our research has already made important contributions to advance the health of our communities. Our excellence in research will be institutionally led, regionally informed, but internationally relevant and impactful. As many of our challenges are not unique to us, they're shared across all countries. Like our educational agenda, we will place our community and the patients we serve at the centre of our plans. To achieve these aims, we have an ambitious plan to recruit internationally leading research in strategic areas, starting with the recent recruitment of an outstanding director for the Institute of Innovative Translational Clinical Trials. However, we won't just look out, we look in. It's important we pay equal attention to developing homegrown talent to be the future leaders and future world-class researchers. Through programs such as the Interinstitutional ICAT2 program, which is being launched tomorrow, and a greater doubling down emphasis on the importance of men mentorship. However, a core theme throughout this is collaboration and partnership, and how we collaborate and partner within our own college, within our current staff, is of essential importance. We understand that our current people are our greatest resource. We appreciate the good fortune we have to, outstanding t to have outstanding teams of educators, researchers, technicians, professional services, and a consistent stream of talented graduates. However, we are mindful of the need to ensure equitable career opportunities and progression for all staff, the need to develop more robust systems for faculty and staff development, and to further enhance our commitment to equality, diversity, and inclusion. As an initial step, we have approved the establishment of a Vice Dean Office for faculty and staff development and mentorship to provide opportunity for all staff to develop and flourish and make meaningful contributions to our college and to our society. In close, we thank you for sharing your time with us, and we look forward to working collaboratively in achieving the goals set out in our strategic plan. Thank you.